Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy from AndroidAuthority.com, and the Razer Phone 2 is getting its Android Pie update in the very near future. But Razer sent us a copy to play with, so we thought we would show you around. So here is the Razer Phone 2 with Android Pie. Visual changes is as good of a place to start as any. The update doesn't change all that much in terms of visuals. In fact, most of the stuff is in the same place as it was in Android Oreo. However, there are a couple of notable changes. The first is the introduction of Android Pie's swipe gestures. The recent apps button is gone and you can now swipe up to access both the app drawer and the recent apps. Razer did institute a small change to the system though. In stock Android, you half swipe up to access the recent apps and then full swipe up to access the app drawer. However, on the Razer phone, you swipe up from the soft key area to access the recent apps and then swipe up on the dock area to access the app drawer. It's a small change, but I personally think this is way better than the way stock Android does it. You can, of course, turn it all off by going into the settings, then system, then to gestures, and then turn off the swipe from the home button setting to go back to the old school soft key format. About the only other noticeable visual change belongs to the settings menu. It has larger, more colorful icons with a more material design aesthetic. Some may like it and some may not, but it's there to stay. Of course, the Razer Phone 2 is getting all of the under the hood changes that come with Android Pie. That includes hallmark features like digital well-being, adaptive battery, and other Android Pie goodies. As far as we can tell, Razer didn't add any new features that didn't already come packaged with the OS update, but Razer certainly didn't remove anything either. We're not going to reinvent the wheel in this one. If you want to check out all of the under the hood changes in Android Pie, we have our hands-on video linked up in the video description below, or you can click on that little banner at the top there. We've had the update for only about a day or two, so we didn't get to do a whole lot of testing. We tried a few games, messed around with the UI, and even popped in a SIM card to make a few phone calls. Some features like adaptive battery take much longer than a couple of days to start showing real differences. However, from what we can tell, everything seems to be working just fine. In fact, the only major difference in terms of usability are the colorful settings menu and the digital well-being app, along with the new home screen gestures, of course. That's certainly not a bad thing. It's nice to have some consistency. Anyway, things look good on this end. We didn't have any problems with this update and neither should you. Well, that's all the information we have about the update itself, so let's talk about when you can expect it to roll out. The unlocked version of the Razer Phone 2 should receive the update on February 27th, while the carrier version is getting the update on March 13th. Unfortunately, AT&T folks have to wait until April 4th, and both AT&T and carrier updates are subject to change, depending on how long it takes the carriers to test and roll out the update. And that about does it for this one, folks. If you like this video, you know what to do, and if not, you still know what to do. We have the written version in the video description below, along with our Android Pie video if you want to see those. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.